Pierre Poilievre's criticism of Justin Trudeau's zeros in on the surge of hate crime and rising anti-Semitism, which he ties directly to Trudeau's leadership. He claims Trudeau's tenure has deepened divisions in Canada, fueling social unrest rather than fostering unity. Poilievre suggests that Trudeau's policies, especially around immigration, are reckless and dangerous, weakening national security and allowing harmful ideologies to flourish. But worse than anything else is what we see in our streets today. What has happened to our country? The division, the violence, the hate, the danger, the anti-Semitism that we've never seen before in this country. Now, it's easy to blame the firebombing of synagogues, the hateful genocidal protests, protest chants in front of Jewish businesses, homes, and hospitals as simply a re reaction to a conflict in the Middle East. Doesn't make sense. First, hate crime was up over 100% before October 7th. And second, this is not the first time there's been a conflict in the Middle East. There was the War of, 18, of 1967. And then there was the Yom Kippur War in 73. There were two intifadas. There was the war against Hezbollah in 2006. There was the operation against Hamas in 2014. We never saw that violence spill onto our streets. We didn't see people bring those uh, hatreds into Canada. But after nine years of Trudeau's radical ideology, his deliberate attempts to divide people into groups, his reckless destruction of our border security, letting in two ISIS terrorists, one apparently videotaped mutilating a human body on a crucifix and make, subsequently making that person a citizen. Uh, these kinds of reckless policies and the actions of this government, the refusal to condemn these remarks. Just yesterday, the Minister of Foreign Affairs did something unbelievable on the floor of the House of Commons. I read the genocidal comments that have been made by these radical uh, mobs, and I said, would you just condemn it? From, uh, uh, from the river to the sea, she wouldn't condemn that. Israel will soon be gone, she wouldn't condemn that. There's only one solution, intifada, revolution, she wouldn't condemn that. She wouldn't even affirm Israel's right to retaliate against other countries attacking it. She should apologize. A foreign affairs minister in Canada should find it very easy to condemn those kinds of remarks, but she didn't because she's pandering politically, which is what Justin Trudeau has been doing for the last nine years. Pointing to the alarming rise in hate crime, Poilivra highlights how even before the October 7th Hamas attack, there had already been a 100% spike in such incidents. He argues that previous conflicts in the Middle East, such as the 1967 and 1973 wars and the Intifada, did not lead to the levels of street-level violence in Canada we see today. According to him, this new wave of unrest is directly linked to Trudeau's divisive policies. One of Poilievre's sharpest critiques centers on Trudeau's immigration approach, particularly the accusation that Trudeau's policies allowed individuals with extremist ties, including ISIS operatives, to enter Canada. He mentions a specific case where someone with a violent background was granted Canadian citizenship using it as an example of Trudeau's failure in safeguarding the nation's borders. In addition to security concerns, Poilivra slams Trudeau for not adequately condemning violent rhetoric and hate speech, citing as an example the government's refusal to denounce slogans calling for Israel's destruction. He sees Trudeau's progressive policies, particularly those celebrating multiculturalism, as inadvertently fracturing the social fabric by encouraging people to prioritize subgroup identities over national unity. For Poilivra, the crux of the problem lies in Trudeau's lax border policies, which he believes have fostered extremism and compromised Canada's safety.